Oh god. Here. Um, Do you mind if I pull your feet over? Oh, oh the drinks. We'll get those in a second. Is there more? The two drinks, the bubble drink and oh, yeah. all that stuff. Um, Thank you, Sudo. Live now. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. You could get like a tuna sighting or a film of one sighting or something like that. Let us know if you can hear us. This is the first setup from the new place, so. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. Having a few international snacks. I just gotta grab the. I'm just gonna go right and yeah. move. And you can move. Ah. Looks like we're gonna be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Montreal Calhoun says, go Pat, go. See? One good comment. We're starting off <laughs> on a strong foot. Hello. Strong foot. All right. Oh, yeah. well, These are interesting. All right. Here we go. The only one says, the only hello. 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 Uh, to have you. Uh, we had a huge break in our content and lives. This is why. Uh, because we moved. Did you work out a lot? Uh, he does. A fair amount. I actually just got back from the gym. Um, today was quads and calves. <laughs> it's just watching a, a Diet Coke chug and this comes on. Perfect timing. Thank you. Perfect timing. Or time. YouTube is just spying on you. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, man. I right. figured we would check in. You guys being Packers fans make you all laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know where to get started. We stopped at a Mediterranean market today, um, as well as a new Asian market. Um, there's a bunch of new places, you know, yeah. where we are. So we're trying out all of them. I'm sad I missed Badlands Live. I'm sure Badlands will post it, probably on the channel. He might edit it down. Yeah. His son's really good at editing, so I think he probably has his son edit it down. Um, I actually think they did the live together. Uh, really? So yeah, I'm, he'll, it'll be up. It'll what be are back they up. Doing? I think it was just Badlands First Live. Ever? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so. Wow. And now I'm sad I missed yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she was uh, she was busy, but we got a few of these, so I guess we'll dig right yeah. in. We have some interesting stuff from like Boa Milk Drink, which we had to use a few of these. Usually these are hard to make the consistency of the boba. Oh, we should grab a straw. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Oh. We don't have proper boba straws, but we have milkshake straws right now. Yeah. That didn't make it. Um... Hopefully they don't get stuck in there because usually they're all jellyish. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know if you guys watched our previous lives. This is our new apartment. We no longer have the brown leather couch. Wah, um, wah. Our table is really low down there, so we're eating at the kitchen bar area. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nick put up all the belts. I did. So our place is kind of like slowly coming together. Those drives are the best for spitballs. Congrats on the new place. Indeed. Yes. Um, and thank you. All right. So I guess we will get started on something. Yeah. Where do you want to start? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty. So do you want to start with lemon basil drink or boba? Let's go with the boba. Okay. He's probably supposed to shake it, I imagine. I don't know. Refrigerate, warning, produce in a factory. It doesn't say shake. Maybe not. Ingredients, a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe gently roll. I don't know. So are you in the mystery universe or are you bad man comps? Or what do you do in the lifting thing? Like, here he's still lifting as well. She I, lifts sometimes. I, I, no. Uh, I'm lifting sometimes. No, I, I wow. used to compete in bodybuilding. I don't anymore. Now I just, uh, now I'm just in the Mr. MLE contest. Maybe a calendar if MLE doesn't come out with one of those. But, uh, but no, I'm just trying to maintain some semblance of uh, my competitive day. Calendar of competitive years? Yeah. I know that, that idea has been tossed around. I feel like, like Badlands could be in there. Badlands could be February with his strawberry milkshake and sensual. Oh, voiceovers. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't he could be like December, like a Santa thing or something. Yeah. All right, let's get this started. Badlands can be whatever you want. <laughs> okay. I will let you delve into that first. Definitely some bubble in there. All right. Are they making it? They look like they're making it. Oh, okay. So, they're like little, little jelly. 
Jellies. So this is not at all like the boba that we're used to. Kind of like a sad little raisin looking thing. Hello. I like those. Oh, sorry. I thought you said I like those balls. Um, like the, that was a, the tea's a, really good. Yeah. No, the tea's good. Tea's really good. Tea's good. The boba is weak because how are you going to keep it? Without getting water gross. stable, yeah. yeah. But it's, I mean, that's probably one of the, that's probably the best shelf stable one I've had. Mm -hmm. Cause usually it's a weird chewy flavor that they have, like in like gelatinous. Uh, Melissa, how are you? Um, bonus tokens. Um, bodybuilders typically eat a fair amount, or no, I shouldn't say that. Bodybuilders have to to grow. They typically think they can eat a lot. Um, there's a lot of adorable bodybuilders oh, on yeah. social media that are like, nobody be able to eat this. Um, like one, for example, said nobody can match his cheat meals. Um, so what I did was I casually tripled his cheat meals, um, or one of his cheat meals that he said I couldn't even eat one of and told me I definitely couldn't triple. But, um, they eat more than your average person. Yeah. They have to, to be that thing. I just don't understand, like, why you would claim to be able to eat so much right. when like it's obviously false There's and that's cool fine things too. that's fine but i mean if i just told you like hey i can easily pick up 400 pounds no problem you probably look at me and right. just think like no you're full of it right um yeah i don't know why you lie why you lie yeah i guess just people like to do those things <laughs> on social media um but this i would give like <laughs> Like I really seven, like this. Like a seven and a half or an eight. I like the tea. The the mm -hmm. yeah, the liquid is uh I know can't nobody match double text and steak. Um Ray, I super appreciate that. Um but somebody has gone in and done three, so I'm going to have to go back and now do four. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know, but I'd like to go back and um yeah, I I'd do three. I mean I didn't know that was a thing. I was just I was driving from Arizona to Connecticut to go live happily ever after with this guy and that was on my stop actually we've been talking about trying to figure out a way to get to amarillo it's i'm on trying not super airport friendly so no. we're kind of looking for reasons to drive that way because I'd, I'd love to do more and uh, do it again yeah that's an awesome video by the way for anybody who shared that that video has like by and large so the most views so I'll share all the other ones thank you guys giant pizzas and sushi rolls and all that stuff you can do four two and one on one yeah. Um, we can drive. All right, that is good. What was your final? We do like an eight. I yeah. really like the tea. I think tea's really. It's sweet. Tea it's tea very sweet. Good. Um, but I, I really. And that it. I think was a dollar twenty, dollar yeah. nineteen, something like that. So yeah, cheapy. That's why. Pretty good. Um, I guess we will go. We got three sweet, two or four sweet, two savory. So I guess we'll go sweet. Mm. Um. Oh, bar sauce. We just bought these because they look weird. Fudgy um, bars. I just watched you and the A team eat that 112 pound burger. How tough was that? Actually, first you should ask Nick how tough it was to organize that thing because I think it kind of gets overlooked. Yeah, eating the burger was cool, but Nick put that stupid idea together. Yes, so, I did. I don't know. I, um, I think that was cool getting like a bunch of competitive eaters. Chris, what's up, man? Um, yeah, that was um the the burger was tough because it's ten pounds of solid food per person, and when I broke it down, it was the equivalent of each person eating five loaves of bread, um, like five pounds of beef, a, like a pound of cheese, and a couple pounds of veggies each. So each person kind of had different hurdles. Like Darren can't stand onions, so he kind of traded some onions out, and um, see, people don't dig tomatoes, so they kind of traded those out. The beef was kind of rare in the middle because it's impossible to cook a 50 yes. on burger. I don't think Esper liked onions or tomatoes or lettuce, but he was just willing He's to a eat. Cyborg. He was willing to eat anything <laughs> yeah. that anybody didn't want to. He was all the way on the other end of the table from me, but I just saw him like grabbing from other people, like offering to help out. So it that was, was cool. the toughest, or, the combination of organizing, timing, scheduling, um, coordinating with the restaurant and then actually finding a team of 10 that can do it was, was very, very tough. Yeah. And, and, and that's not to take anything away from anybody and say, everybody did their part. That was a kick-ass experience that I'm happy to say I was yeah. a part of. So I'm, I'm just amazed that all, all of us came together. I mean, that's, that's, that have been like corralling cats or I don't know. Abraham, yeah, that's. I was usually between uh, five and eight times per day, depending on how long I was awake. Because I used to wake up at three uh, and go to bed at midnight, so I was awake like twenty-one hours a day. So I was definitely eating a, a fair amount. Um, I 
That was a great idea. Thank you. Hey, um, Aaron. Oh, uh, we got the wrench. Um, yeah. And um, cheat meals usually carbs or protein. Uh, my cheat meals are usually contest or practice related. Um, when I was competing, my cheat meals were, or my reseeds were very high carb, very low fat, uh, moderate protein. Okay, fudgy, fudgy bars, <laughs> Macapuno cream filled Macapuno cake box. Did we get a good look of the? I brought, I held it right up. Oh, the camera. okay. Yeah. This is my first rodeo. Yeah, because they're called fudgy bars. Does anybody know what Macapuno means? Um, they look like the Grinch pooped a Twinkie, basically, on the wrapper. It says, oh, bar, sa, sara. Hey, hey, Ron. Oh, new place in the weather are lovely. Oh, okay. Macapuno filling. It's just sweeteners, artificial Macapuno flavor. I have no clue what this is. Can we get the wrench on that? Can we get the wrench on what Macapuno <laughs> is? That's, the, that's a new place in the mm -hmm. weather. Yeah, everything's nice. Actually, Florida's colder than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's still January after all. Yeah, it looks like a green tea sort of thing. But I'm guessing Macapuno is like a fruit, right? Uh, we're just, yeah, I think it's probably maybe a melon or something. I don't know. Cheers. Oh. Is it durian? <laughs> it smells like durian. This also smells like coconut. I don't get any cream. I don't have any cream either. You will. <laughs> Hold on. Put this down here. Is this coconut? Greetings from Vegas. No, oh, coconut. Okay. It tastes like coconut, but we're Ooh, wondering coconut. why it's green. They're pretty good, but there's no... There's no cream in these. Nope. Yeah, like... The fudgy bars with the little creamy center. Wait a minute. You got cream? Oh, oh that's, a, that's a weak sauce that's cream. the saddest cake ever. Um, you guys ever went to a buffet and freaked out the place by eating a lot? Yes. That would be hilarious. I mean, we're very polite about it, though. Mm -hmm. Not we're not making a sideshow throwing food or yeah. Jellyfish coconut. The wrench is on it. Thank you. Thank you. A jellyfish well jellyfish coconut fudgy bars are pretty good. They're better than Twinkie, but there's no cream filling. At all. Alright, we're gonna split a third one just to see if we can get cream filling. Because <laughs> that kind of pissed me off. But these are good. They are good, yeah. I, I would give those like a seven and a half. They probably could be up there with like an eight and a half if they had a solid cream filling. Yeah. Daniel Walker says, hell yeah, Green Bay fans. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's like a little oh, there's moist a... fleck there, if you can see that. That's the cream filling. Please. <laughs> Please. Left out the flavor in Aaron, how is everybody on your end? Everybody's hunky dory? Everybody's good? Like, you would need know. a flavor injector. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that cream is sad. It's the saddest cream filling I've ever seen. Okay. Actually, I'll put this guy right over here. So yeah. Maybe we'll get rid of the straw. But the cake, I really like. Cake is good. Moist. Should we? Like macapuno means like no cream. Just kidding. It's a Hawaiian thing. You should know it. Um. Okay. We got three sweets. Two savories, where are we going? Yeah, congrats on the little one. Yeah, yeah. Come on, here, shoot me a pic. Shoot me a pic. I need hey, to Quinn. see. I need to see. And congratulations, of course. Yeah. Everybody's happy, healthy, all the best. Um Yeah, that's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Savor the flavor. And you'll be snapping your fingers and they'll be talking back. Alright, <laughs> next up, we've got Jizzy Vig. Whoa! Whoa! I, think, I don't know. This is a family is that, show. Is that G I Z I V I G? I would say Gizzy. I don't know. I think it's just, just okay. Maybe okay. Gizzy. Okay. Okay. Hey, I I'm not really sure what um what country of origin this is. Uh, the inappropriate one, apparently. <laughs> These are sandwich crackers with cre with cheese cream. Um. Hopefully, more cream than Macapunos. Yeah, uh, made in Turkey. There you go. Made in Turkey. 
Okay. Um, I don't know about this. Yeah, yeah we, I don't know. we will see. We will see here. Okay, so this is a, they look like little... Pretty packaging. This was an awesome little uh, metal Mediterranean market. Yeah, I think all of these were like a dollar fifty at most. And the people were super chill. Did you eat that little pistachio thing? It was still in the car. Oh, it's in my purse. Oh, I'll grab it in a second. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's down by the yeah. juice. It's um, in side pocket. Okay. Mm. It smells like any cheese cracker I've ever. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a cheese cracker. Oh, well. Some of these are a little more unique that we'll get to. Yeah. You can give this to your like the, little kid. Like the little 50 cent mm -hmm. for six squares. Yeah. The ones you buy, like, it's like two bucks for the eight pack. They either come in peanut butter or cheese. Mm -hmm. I forgot what those are called, but mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if they have a name. <laughs> this is not Chad, my actual girlfriend. We're watching you guys on separate phones. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you both for both of your device watching. <laughs> oh, man. That's now who gets peed on first. Uh, <laughs> who gets peed on? That's a tough one. I might say your wife gets peed on first just because of, if, if she's breastfeeding or whatever, there's a little bit more contact. You know, but that depends. The key, okay, there's a little, little trick real quick. When you're changing the diaper, unless you're ready with the wipes and stuff, which you never really need one three wipes, unless it's an up the backer, okay? With two to three wipes is generally going to suffice. Keep the diaper, unwrap, or Velcro, Velcro, whatever. Keep it there, ready to go. Ready to wipe. Front to back, of course, the sanitary. Do your thing, roll it up, wipe, psh, diaper right in, go. No dillying around the like, oh, who who went poopy and all that Jesus stuff. Christ. That's the way to get peed on. Way to get peed on. There you go. <laughs> how do you get a girl to drive across country to be with you? And how did you <laughs> Oh man, see? Change stories like, like that. Numbers. Yeah, stories like that. Yeah, no. no. Um Ask her, you know. I um We met at the gym of the Maxwell Hotel where they put us up for the Nathan's yeah. Hot Dog Eating Contest on July 4th of 2018. We were both working out the morning of the hot dog eating contest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, were there any people in the gym at that time? I'm not sure. There might have, just the, my photographer. Yeah. Makes you sound super important. It does. I've not <laughs> been, They asked to follow me around 48 hours. It was bizarre. Yeah. No. Um. Because, yeah, that gym can either be, like, packed with, I think a lot of the other competitors go in groups. Um, but anyway, yeah, Nick and I happened to be the only ones there. Mm -hmm. I said, hi, my name's Mickey. I'm not sure if you know me, but I'll be in the hot dog eating contest. Wanted to say hi. And we didn't talk again for like a year. So yeah, we took a picture <laughs> of her social media. Obviously, I knew who she was. We know we spoke again later that year for the burger. Mm -hmm. Then we did the 110 pound burger together. Screwed her for the burger. And then didn't talk again until sometime the following year. She saw me. She's like, oh my God. I have to have you. Oh, he was messaging everybody like, I uh, need to meet that girl. No. Anyway. Anyway. She like, have you ever seen the cartoons where they float, their feet come up around, they float? Basically, that's what happened at like, uh, in Lake Tahoe before the Hooters contest. She was floating down Main Street in Lake Tahoe. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, Nick was just really nice. And we just, we just get along really well. Yeah. So. Aaron, um, try that now. Try that diaper trick now. Um, and get good at it. Um, I gotta work on my speed. Gotta work on my speed. Yeah, you guys practice together. No, I'm still practicing with Michelle. Yeah. I <laughs> knew it. I knew it. Everybody knew it. I, I just, I, Michelle's been my practice buddy for like forever. I well, know. She just decided, you know, we start seeing each other and. Yeah. Wanted to make it work, so 2,600 yeah. miles a long way. Yeah, so I decided to go out to Connecticut, and here we are now. Yay! Much warmer. I like these. Basic cheese yeah, cracker, but good. Yeah. It's just kind of, it's surprising to me that, like, different countries can have basically the exact same food, just marketed differently. Picky kids are picky kids. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> like you know what, you and doesn't I... Doesn't matter where you're from. You and I, and... You know, little kids in Turkey, we're not all that different after all. 
Appreciate the same thing. Live Florida here. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Mm. Uh, Mickey or Nick, was there an intimidation factor? Um, not... I mean, I was just... I, I was more so surprised that she knew who the hell I was. Um, she more so knew that I was competing, um, or assumed, I guess. Um, unless there's an intimidation factor, when somebody suggested that we, you know, maybe talk to each other, start seeing each other, yeah. I said no. Like she's, I didn't think she was going to be interested. I was like, no, I don't think she's going to be interested. Like, nobody me. wants to date me. You're, if you, if no. you think you're getting pseudo from the 4th of July, that person who looked all put together, like, once you get to know me, you're going to realize, like, this girl has a lot of baggage and a lot going on, and I just didn't want to pull back that curtain <laughs> for, like, one more person. Like, it's, it's, I just didn't want to expose myself and be vulnerable like that. And then he was just super persistent, so I'm like, well, my life's a mess, and you can be part of it, too, if you want, and he didn't run away. No, I mean, but it was, um, <laughs> no, it's all good. You know, just worked. Sometimes things are just easy, yeah. and they just work. And I think that was that was it. Things and kind of progressively got better. I was all heart googly eyes. Yep. <laughs> no, anyway. Did you take your hoodie out? No, I, which brings us to the next snack. It's called mm. the maniki, which is also miki. You take out the n. Anyway, oh, these gosh. are adorable. Um, these are from. What did you say? Miniki cocoa biscuits with strawberry jelly. I took one out for you. I haven't eaten them yet. They look Thank like you. those little took out um, a broken one. Oh god, you're broken. Yes. They look like those little raspberry filled jelly cookies, but just in a cocoa like biscuit. Like the Linzer cookies. Yeah, which I really like. Those guys. Hi, Olive. Hi, Tom. Hello, Chad. Yeah, I know that feeling. See, you know, and I just, I just, I just got real on a live. Look at that. I mean, the climate change, the damp snow, she only dealt with one mm -hmm. snowy winter, and it was a piece of cake winter. But back down here to Florida, it's probably more like when she was in Hawaii or mm -hmm. California. It's it's probably more damp, uh, definitely more damp than California here. Yeah. Um, And definitely more damp than Arizona and Vegas. Mm -hmm. But right now is a really good time of year to move here because it'll just progressively become unpleasantly hot. Yeah, I, I mean... I had packed away a lot of my winter clothing. Um, I was actually going to just like vacuum seal like, heavy jackets and sweaters and everything. But then we get here, it's like on certain days, we, we like dip below 30 on one night. Yeah, and I really don't have a lot of winter clothing, even though I cold. lived in New England a large part of my life. I just handle the cold. Yeah. When it's so anyway. meant to be, it's meant to be. Indeed. You know, sometimes things just yeah. don't get us wrong. Like, it's not all sunshine yeah, and no, rainbows. It's, it's you want to tear each other's head off yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Um, fight earlier? No, not fight. It's that earlier. Yeah, today. she just forgot that I'm right. And oh my god. It started something. Anyhow. But yeah, no, it's just you, you like just realize what's important, and you're right. just like this fight, fight is it. not important. Right. Anyway. The fight for it is yeah. important. Um, These mm. taste partly like strawberry, partly mm. like a fig, Newton kind of thing. They're big on figs. Mediterranean food. Got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, hey, hello. How's everyone doing this fine Monday evening? Hello, Luther the Great. Somebody Thanks find for joining tuna. Us. Can somebody find tuna? <laughs> Swimming around somewhere, you'll be pissed if you miss a live. Any, um, any news about potential good eating contests coming up? Uh, there may be. Yeah, I know. But... Darren Eats has alluded to it. Um, so until. The world knows. The world doesn't know. The world doesn't know. So, and, and frankly, like, even if I did know something, I, I wouldn't even feel comfortable talking about it until, like, it was announced because COVID and all these changes. New England is a tough place to live. You're going to get the worst of all seasons and the best of all seasons, depending on what you're into. Mm -hmm. um, they all from South Florida. Hello. Um, they use a potential good rain. Uh, hey, hello. Mm -hmm. Hi from Tampa, Florida. Hello, Mare Bear. Baby does the freaking Stony Shuffle. Oh, dude, you think she shuffles now? Oh, yeah, you think she shuffles now? <laughs> She'll get. She's gonna get to an age where she can roll over, so and she's true. gonna look at you and be like, "Sup, Dad?" Or the baby, he, he's gonna look at you and be like, "Sup, Dad?" Um, mm -hmm. little boy, and he's gonna be like, "Okay," and you're gonna go to change him, and he's gonna as soon as you get the diaper open, tuck and roll. He's gonna tuck and roll and he's trying to get out of prison. 
might as well be an Alcatraz. And there's just doo-doo and whatever is going on. It's just crazy nonsense. And then you laugh, and then they laugh. So they repeat it every time, trying to escape. Yeah, loads of fun. That that you think the Stony Shuffle is bad now? That kid is gonna be like Flash Dance. Oh my god. Stony Shuffle. What else is there on the circuit? I'm trying to think, like. Uh, the Joey Jawflex. <laughs> I don't want to. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see babies doing that. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, I don't know. I think a lot of people stretch. Like, see them doing mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, George says I do the Angry Pony. Mm. I don't know. You, you're more so known for those. God, the right turn. Again. Yeah. The right turn. I think or, just... um, you you kind of bounce around. If you're in a good place, mm -hmm. you're kind of bouncing around. You know, back and forth backstage. Mm -hmm. Getting a little out of bed. Oh yeah. man. These pretty are pretty good. good. Yeah, I would say if you like Linzer cookies, but are more preferential to chocolate cookies, you mm -hmm. have a Mediterranean market near you, <laughs> check those out. I mean... Again, yeah. that was like 99 cents or something. Yeah. So. I dig them. I dig them pretty That's good. Try. So, at first glance, these don't look spicy, do they? Well, they are hot chili flavors, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, these are... Uh, I don't know what country. Made in Palestine. Mm. Okay. Uh, where do you guys call home? Home is... Where she is. I was going to say something cheesy. Yeah, pretty much that. Oh. Now we're on the Gulf Coast. For... Wait. No? Oh. So these are from Chipsy Land Super. Um, I thought we were looking at potato chips. Oh, they're like potato puffs. Yeah, they're like the puff. Oh, puff. shit. Okay. Beep. You can actually see the little red yeah. flecks. Yeah. Home is going to be wherever he is, or where we're it's together. Potato. But yeah, I think the potato is the first ingredient listed. This tastes like something, and I'm going to see what you say. Close your eyes. Yeah, they look, but they're not as um, mm -hmm. abrasive as munchos, but they look like munchos. What's a muncho? What's a muncho? Uh, the saltiest chip in the history of time, and they're like all just pockmarks from the oil. I've um, never even heard of this. Um, about Carolina. But these are a little more squishy. I don't know. They, they look memory. like the little. Um, Pink and white shrimp chips, but they don't taste anything like that. What does the aftertaste? It's like top ramen. That good. What? That good. That's what I said to the camera. I said ramen. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think ra okay, yeah, like instant ramen, top ramen. See? <laughs> huh? Did you say what is a muncho? Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I have no. Apparently we need to have a live where Sudo tries, yeah. tries munchos or finds Don't ever out. reference a movie quality either, because it's June. Yeah. No. But if you read a textbook sometimes, you probably know it's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what muncho is. Oh! They're, they're much crunchier. These are sneaking up on me. Yeah. They're good though. Mm -hmm. It's enough heat to know it's there, but they're not mm -hmm. hot. Like, William would probably like these. My son would probably eat these. My daughter would not. Yeah. If you can't get them, let me know. Uh, P.O. Box. <laughs> um, your case. No, I just want to tell him we can't get them. So he's bringing a box for your case of lunch. No, um. You never see them in the store. Mm. She's just, you know. Did you guys coordinate the outfit? Sorry, I just read right ahead. I he was wearing me. I was wearing this all day. You had a long sleeve shirt, shirt on. on like, over oh. this, so the first thing I put on this morning was this. Oh my gosh! Anyway, as you were, over. what about munchos? Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know, but he hates when we match. <laughs> no, she got tunnel vision in the chip aisle. It's Cheetos poofs. She likes the poofy ones slightly better than the crunchies, mm -hmm. or salt and vinegar kettle chips. 
I do. Yeah. Those are generally 98% of the time what she's going to get. Occasionally you might see her grabbing like some, some cheddar sour cream or something like that, but that's rare. Mm -hmm. It's rare. Mm -hmm. Go through a list of what all she's never oh, had. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Munchos would be a good one. Mm. She also wouldn't eat, um, what was it? What do we have that wouldn't eat it? Let me just have a sushi or something. What? Frog legs? No, oh, frog legs. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm not a huge fan, but I'll eat them. I love munchos. Yeah, they're super salty, but delicious. No clue. They're probably one of the saltiest chips I've ever eaten. Like mm -hmm. a whole bag, your mouth would kind of hurt and be dry. Mm -hmm. They're also super crunchy. But these are good. I like the, yeah, like the other one that, that we don't see as much is like the Hawaii style kettle, whatever. It, there is a um, cost plus, a couple cost yeah. plus in your hair. Usually they I don't they know what they're them. called, but I like those. Like lots of munchos. Oh, Sounds gosh. like a balanced diet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, should we try the basil seeds? Yeah. Oh, God. Whoa. I don't know, my mouth is speaking of salt. My mouth is getting a little dry. Get you some Palestinian chips. Yeah. This looks disgusting. But, you never know. Can you get it to focus? Oh, yeah, it did. Why don't you focus? So, we have... Let's see the seeds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, it looks like... Every morning I throw chia seeds in my yogurt, and it just looks like I didn't wash out the bowl. You poured some water And in now there. poured some water into, like, my yogurt filmy bowl, and chia seeds are just exploding. Lemon mint drink. Yeah, no, it deserves chia in it. I don't know, maybe basil seeds are similar to chia seeds. Lemon mint yeah. drink. Yeah, lemon. Thank you. Lemon. Okay, okay. okay. got it. Play along. <laughs> oh, that... I don't know, dude. It smells like... Is it thick? Yeah, it is. I don't know if it's thick. I mean, it's definitely thick, but... Where's the... Do we have a... Oh, we don't have a cup. Yeah, I can get a glass. Yeah. Do we have glasses? Yeah, we have a glass. We have pork roll glasses. That smells like um, the super abrasive peppermint gum an old lady would have at the bottom of her purse. Yeah. That's kind of clean. Yeah, it's kind of clean. Okay, wait, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh. I can hold it up to the... Yeah, you do it. Yeah. Oh, God. Where's the bucket? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like... Yes, it does it not... It looks like... like thick water. Oh, it looks like jelly-like. This stinks. Why'd you get the mint one? Oh, God, it smells... You should the blueberry. It smells like a household cleaner. <clears throat> Why'd you get this one? Uh, That's awful. That's awful. Did you play with the basil seeds? Yeah, the two of them. Um. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like I was chewing a pack of mint gum. Something happened, and I had to spit all that out into my lemonade and then drink that. It is thick. It's um. It's not nice. Yeah, it smells like, yeah, it's very pepperminty. Um, it's good for fertility. Yeah, me, I mean. Really? I mean. I don't need that. Oh, God. Oh. You know, They're just minute. suspended. Kind of just like Rumpelman's. I don't remember. Yeah, no, it's not fun. Um, well, the station diner just posted two hours ago promoting the Seuss Burger. Oh. Uh, the, yeah. Ask me if you guys know longer for some of my crowd there, yeah. Wait, we're not welcome? I don't know. Is that what that means? Because we, yeah, we can't do any other channels after you Oh. Oh, wow. Wait, mm -hmm. how did, how did, Ray, how did you know that this would smell like a dish soap? Because you said it smelled like no, cleaner. I think he said it before. I smell it like it smells like cleaner. That's anyway. terrible. I mean, if you really love peppermint and chewing peppermint drinks, maybe that's your thing. Um, 
No, because it's like, even if you like mojitos, this is not going to be your thing. I like some chewing peppermint drinks. I don't think anybody falls into that category. All right, let's try an eight keck. Ochre, mm. thin, dickly. You're going to roll tonight. <laughs> it's what it says. Eight keck, thin, dickly. All right. A few more of these and we'll let you guys go for the evening. This is going to be nonsensical. Uh, also from Turkey, I want to say. Made in Turkey. That one drink was not... Ooh. Ooh. Open it. It looks adorable. It really does. Just a side profile action. Looks like a big peanut. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be stuck in the middle. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! I got a caramel pull. Oh god! I got a caramel pull off my mouth. <laughs> Just ripple on my skin. Yuck! You got my hand. It's more moist than I expected. The cake is really good. Cake kind of tastes like a blondie. I really like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get yourself an 8-keck Findickly. <laughs> Go down to your local grocery store, walk in and say, Hey, excuse me, Fran, do you have 8-keck Findickleys here? She's probably like, get the fuck out. Security. <laughs> Security, please escort it's, this um, asshole out of here. Cocoa-coated hazelnut cake with hazelnut and dark chocolate sauces. I thought there was some sort of like fruit sauce in there. Hazelnut puree and then a bunch of stuff that I can't yeah. pronounce. That's, well, that's good. Eight check Finn Dickley's <laughs> with Yenny and Ochre. Yeah, about 41 yeah. people have tuned in to us watching some Eight yeah. Kecks Finn Dickley's. So people who just tuned in, <laughs> get your hands on a Finn Dickley by Eight Keck. <laughs> You won't regret putting this Finn Dickley in your mouth, okay? <laughs> Christ. Good. How about a Caradut Marmalade? Caradut Ochre Holly. Oh, it's the same company. Oh, Ochre yeah. Holly Caradut Marmalade. <laughs> wish we had some Mediterranean subscribers. Yeah, I wish we, we could help us out with we this. We get more, yeah. Yes, All right. Finn Dickley. Go ahead. Yes, please. Hit the <laughs> thumbs up and... Likes and subscribes and all that thing. Oh Please. my god, I can't do this. Oh, oh, oh. Those look pretty legit. Yeah. These look like, I know they're not going to be like fudge dipped Oreos, but that's kind of what they look like. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be a fruit filling inside of a yeah. cookie crust. Oh, yeah. Those are awesome. The Finn Dickleys? Yeah, Ray, <laughs> if you've had those Finn Dickleys, they're pretty good. Or these. Are you you're talking about the Finn Dickleys or the Marmalaths? <laughs> I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory right now. Yeah. Land. Mm. Oh, wow. There's a marshmallow there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. My digestive system is allergic to Finn Dickley. You just haven't had the right one. <laughs> That's all it is. You get the right Finn Dickley in there, there's no going back. These aren't bad. <laughs> I was like a blackberry. Um, these aren't bad. Yeah. I'm not huge on my... The guru's Finn Dickley. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess the notifications weren't going on. You're going off? Yeah, I don't know. I can't really, can't really explain YouTube. Um, yeah, not usually a fan of marshmallow, but these marmalas, it's like almost like like blackberry, marshmallow, chocolate, and cracker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good. Like a chocolate covered fig newton. They're crunchy. Yeah. These are pretty good. And then the thing in my purse. I don't know. We're kind of edging out. Let me tell you something. I can lay it on pretty thick in my fig dick, okay? I gotta move across the country. <laughs> that good. <laughs> that good. She's it's here. Strikes on YouTube. Seven bells. <laughs> One pin <laughs> Um Where am I? In my purse. 
Um, yeah, the purse, it's in the, the front pocket. I don't know, like the side pocket. There's a lot of bullshit in there. Yeah. Dude, just bring me my purse. Like, yeah, I'm like, gonna, yeah. yeah. There's like a ton of shit. <laughs> This is where I tell you that it's not even in there after all. Yeah, it's probably no. far. No, I don't think so. Shoot. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, see? So um, the guy at the Mediterranean market, they had a whole bunch of these in different colors. And he said, you you can just try it, this. So he gave it to us for free. Yeah, really nice people. Yeah, so that's people. just some little pistachio candy. Pistachio jelly candy or something. Oh, God. oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think it's kind of like a, have you ever seen like the uh, pecan logs? I think it's kind of like that, but with oh, pistachio and there. corn syrupy. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to break this. Bite it. Yeah, I guess so. Not what I expected. It looks like a pickle. Much fruitier. Yeah. I guess I was expecting more pistachio flavor. This is what, like lemon? Yeah. Like a sweet honey lemon kind of flavor? <laughs> there you go, man. There you go. Get that capacity from one ounce to two ounces, three ounces, <laughs> milk or formula, whatever at a time. Yeah, like a tutti fruity. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's um definitely fruit like sweeter. Fruitier. It has like like translucent pink ones, opaque pink ones. There's like an orange one. I'm kind of wondering what the other like, especially the the opaque flavors. What mm -hmm. they were like, I don't know. That's the capacity right now. I think Nick's already said his kids aren't going to be or allowed to be competitive eaters. Or no, body, bodybuilding. no bodybuilding. No competitive eating. You do whatever you want. You can be a concert pianist, you can be a competitive baton twirler, you can do pony play if you want to. I don't, I don't, if you love what you do and you're not harming other people, great. Did you throw pony play into Outside the of bodybuilding and competitive eating, you can do anything. Oh. You can be an astronaut or something, you know, help people. Right. Yeah. So, of this score, um, of this. These were really good too. Uh, yeah. Um, the bubble tea was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, all in all, this was a pretty solid um, little haul. haul. I, I do like these, even though I still don't know what a muncho is. Um, these are a nice flavor combination. These guys are solid. I think the weakest for me, okay, well, this one was straight up I don't like. Mm -hmm. So, no mm -hmm. to you. The weakest would be the crackers, because they're mm -hmm. just boring. Cheese crackers are just cheese crackers. Mm -hmm. So, if your kid needs a snack... And you happen to be in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean market, and you're like, I don't know what to get, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Cheese crackers. Mm -hmm. Don't like those, if they like cheese crackers. That's pretty much it. Let's yeah, see. the dishwasher fluid was, was a little rough. The cascade um, was a little unpleasant. But I mean, like I said, if you like drinking mints with seeds in them, um, with a hint of citrus, and a cool little bottle, this is right up your alley. And I'm sure there's like three people in the world, but that's their thing. Yeah. Um, these are pretty legit, but they're just don't bank on any oh cream filling. The Finnickly also. Sorry, I just I forgot because I think we tossed the wrapper. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oh, that right. was probably that was up this, there. This Finnickly <laughs> gets you some. Yeah. Okay, that might be the winner. They're all pretty solid though. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna want to get your fill of Finnickly. So. Get some eight keck. Yeah. Probably Google Finn Dickley. Don't image it. But yeah, probably legit. That's pretty good. Macapuno, cream filled cakes. Uh, just bank on cakes, but those are pretty good. Maybe just have some like Cool Whip or some like whipped cream handy. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty legit. Um, I think there's a Indian market. Um, the Tanza or Tanza. I don't know. There are other ethnic markets that we're going to be checking out, so. Yeah. I don't know, I like doing this. This is a flavor enhancer for schnapps and alcohol drinks. Okay, well that would make sense. That? I guess that would make sense. Australian snack challenge. I don't 
That might be like a cost plus thing. Yeah, I did an Oktoberfest one for MLE, but a cost plus Australian snacks or like if you know any good resources or like what should be covered under yeah. Australian snacks. Like, talk to Sam Let Barclay. Find meat yeah. pies. There's a meat pies or whatever. Ask Sam what our Australian snacks should be. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll write, add that to the list of ideas. We do have some cool content coming your way. Now that we're in the place, um, you know, internet's set up, computers set up, <laughs> blah, 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 furniture, um, it'll be a little bit easier to get back to yeah. some more regular content. Um, I'll say within the next week, a video yeah. will be out. Um, and then hopefully soon after that, we'll try to get back to at least a couple videos a month or something like that. Uh, for you guys, um, we do appreciate everything. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the subscriber count still going yeah, up. Thank you. So, um, yeah. yeah, this last month was just, I mean, no excuses. It was just a lot of moving. Mm -hmm. A lot of moving parts. Packing on the other end. Unpa packing on the other end, driving here, not getting into our apartment for like the first five days, and then unpacking. So, we're yeah. here now. We're here now, and we can set up shop, and we're all good to go. Yeah. I'm a Westchester grad. Mm. Is that? Mm. 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 CRL, um, we did see durian for a lot cheaper down here. Yeah, I might do like a durian, like a gallon durian shake or something like that. Mm -hmm. If anyone be interested in like a the world's largest durian shake, maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, that might be a good one. Oh, yeah, we're going to sign off too soon, yeah. so... With a little Thanks guy for bed. checking in. Thank and... you for checking in. Thank you for everybody who, like, even the good comments. Thank you for everyone who goes to bat for us with the bad comments, too. That's always appreciated. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, the support is genuinely appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. We'll talk, think about the uh, Australian Snap Challenge. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, and if we have any news to share with you, maybe we'll do it on the live sometime soon. Yeah. Um, and peanut butter powder, depending on which one you get. Tastes just like peanut butter that's unsweetened when you mix it with fluid, but it's awesome in shakes. Uh, really low calorie. I'd recommend getting the peanut butter powder from Ocean State Job Lot. It is by or no, excuse me, Big Lots. Big Lots is by far the cheapest. The peanut butter powder they sell, serving for serving. It's better macros than PB2. Way cheaper than PB2. It's ten bucks for like seventy servings or something. Don't pay for PB2 even though it's good. Uh, we're coming to Tana. Love you guys. W2. Thank you. We love all our subs too. I guess on that note, I'll be fishing up some of these delicious little cookies. Yep. We'll see you guys next time. Jesus Christ.